Exxon knew it was causing climate change back in the 1970s. In July 1977, Exxon senior scientist James Black sat down with Exxon's top executives. In a detailed slideshow, Black explained that CO2 from the burning of fossil fuels was potentially warming the planet at a catastrophic rate. For the next decade, Exxon spent millions and employed some of the world's top scientists to study the problem. By 1979, Exxon scientists learned that while nothing was 100% certain, there was also general consensus in the scientific community that the CO2 buildup in the atmosphere is a worldwide problem. Fossil fuel consumption will cause dramatic environmental effects before the year 2050. The potential problem is great and urgent. Exxon scientists even knew how much global temperatures could rise. By 1982, the company had maps predicting how climate change might impact the planet. In one scenario, ocean levels would rise four feet and there would be major shifts in weather patterns. Exxon's researchers even told company executives that climate change could possibly cause great irreversible harm to our planet. Exxon executives were also given the following sobering message. Addressing climate change would require major reductions in fossil fuel combustion. Such a change would put the company's entire business model at risk. For the next several years, the general public knew little about climate change. Then in 1988, NASA scientist James Hansen testified before Congress. And the issue exploded into the national consciousness. Soon, lawmakers from both parties began calling for major reductions in CO2 emissions. And that's when Exxon started to cast doubt on the cause of climate change. Proponents of the global warming theory say that higher levels of greenhouse gases, especially CO2, are causing world temperatures to rise and that burning fossil fuels is the reason. But scientific evidence remains inconclusive as to whether human activities affect the global climate. There's simply no reason to take drastic action now. But Exxon did take drastic action in the form of confusing the public. From 1997 to 2016, it spent tens of millions funding groups that spread misinformation about climate change. The company also ran ads and editorials questioning what scientists knew including what their own scientists knew back in the 1970s. 